Oh, 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 my God. Even in the insulating boxes, they're still pulling at each other. <laughs> oh, I just feel it moving, whipping around. Like, it doesn't want to set down because of the opposite pulls right now. Super scary and awesome at the same time. What's up? And welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip. Today, we're going to find out if super insanely strong magnets can crush an iPhone 10. You can tell I'm pretty nervous just by the way I'm talking. All right. I don't have that much experience with magnets. I know you need to be super careful with these bad boys. Each of these magnets has 600 pounds of pull force. They come in these insulating boxes because if they were in a small, like, I don't know, envelope or something, they would just rip right out of the package guaranteed before you even get it because it's ridiculous anyway just don't be stupid okay these things are dangerous but the question is can the iPhone 10 survive the catastrophic smashing of these two super magnets let's find out it's gonna be freaking epic Let's get started. By the way, I'm giving away a Galaxy S9. Winner gets to pick their color of choice. Giveaway ends March 31st. Link in the description if you want to check it out. We got this plastic tub to set the magnets on so that they don't get attracted to any steel like in the table or anything. Magnet number one. Let's go ahead and take it out. We got to make sure we keep the camera away from it, Jeff, okay? <laughs> oh my God, there it is. There it is. Okay, let's pull it out of here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That is really heavy too. Set that guy on this far side. First little experiment we're gonna do is see what happens when we put the iPhone next to it. Okay, it definitely uh, magnetizes to the iPhone. That's for sure. All right, it's still it's still alive. So the, the magnet doesn't instantly kill the iPhone 10. That's good to know. The way these magnets work is that at a distance, they're barely gonna be magnetized. Now, the closer they get, the more exponentially stronger the magnets get as well. Let's go ahead and take this bad boy out of the box here. What's even the point of having a magnet this strong? I mean, just like, here's asking to break stuff and hurt people. <laughs> We've got the magnet set up. Do you think the iPhone 10 will survive this crazy experiment? Post your opinion in the top right. Here we go. We're gonna move the magnets in until they've magnetized to each other. And yeah, we'll see exactly what happens. Oh man. Okay, here we go. We're moving the magnets in. Holy crap. Oh my God. The, this is so nerve wracking. I, I, I might be being too nervous than I really need to be, but yeah, all right. We're starting to go right now. Oh, oh my God. It cracked it. <laughs> oh my God. All right, let's take a look at the phantom clip on that sucker. My God. Here they come. And then right as they get about an inch and a half apart, that's when they really get moving hard. Well, let's go ahead and try to pull those magnets apart and see the damage of that iPhone 10. Oh my God. Gotta be real careful here because like, we got glass dust all over this right now. All right, so there it is. Look at that. We've got the iPhone 10 utterly just demolished right now. Let's see if I can even pull them apart. Oh my God. Holy oh jeez. Oh. <laughs> so, like I said, exponentially they get way stronger the closer they get together. Since they're about a third of an inch still apart, they didn't quite have the full pulling force of all 1,200 pounds. So, I was able to actually pull them apart. Now, we're going to do this experiment one more time. This time, we're going to have the iPhone sandwiched in between these magnets. And I'm going to drop this magnet from up here. And we're going to see it just slam right into that iPhone. It's going to be awesome. So, the display is actually still responsive on this iPhone 10, which is kind of crazy. All right, let's see the damage when we drop it vertically. I think this will be a lot more damaged. Three, two, one. Yeah. Here comes the magnet on top. Now this is at 18,500 frames per second, maximum frame rate. So we've got a nice and good slow-mo of this happening. The corner is gonna impact first. Kaboom, and whoa, you can see the iPhone flex when that magnet hits. 
You can see all kinds of glass pieces just flying away. You can see those lines coming down the OLED display as well. It was enough force to flip the whole thing up into the air. We got green lines on the screen and a whole bunch of dead pixels. Let's see if I can pull this apart again. Oh my god! Ah. Oh my god! I just, I literally, I cannot pull this apart. I think they're stronger when they're dropped with this horizontal T more, action. More surface area. There's no pulling that apart. It's done. Maybe if I push them sideways first and then pull it, pulling it apart. Oh dear lord, this is insane. I literally can't even twist these. Oh. oh, oh, oh my god, a blood blister just from making my hands escape. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Honestly, I'm lucky I didn't break a finger. These magnets are insanely dangerous. Short of using like industrial tools, I don't think these things are ever gonna come apart again. So this is the damage. We've got lines going up and down. We've got swaths of dead pixels right here. And my hand is shaking now because I literally almost broke a finger just now. It scraped me really good right here at first and then it scraped down. You can see the scratch coming down and then it pinched my skin right here and that's got a blood blister right there. I am very impressed with how much damage these magnets were able to do. What did you think? Oh my God, they're freaking insane. That's it for this episode of Gizmo Slip. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell. We'll see you next time. Brandon, out.